I used to have clear skin until I started this shit. What's up guys, how are you doing today? So today I'm gonna be showing you how I do my tee shot or how to do your tee shot, if you're wondering. Also, I know what you're saying. Wow, that's a really cool hoodie. Yup, it is. Uh, that's me. I'm probably gonna sell more hoodies because everyone's asking for them. But anyways, so what you're going to need are alcohol pads, a syringe, a sharps container, some band-aids if you bleed, and obviously testosterone. I don't, I can't really show you guys my supplies, but trigger warning, there are needles in this video and I'm going to stick myself with the needle. So if you don't like that, you might not want to watch it. So the first step is you take your bottle and your needle and an alcohol pad. You want to wash the top of this off with the alcohol pad. Oh, and before you do all this, you should wash your hands. I already did it. Once that's dry, you just basically, you put the needle in there and then you pull back and you get as much as you need, whether you take any amount ever um, until you get your amount that you take. Wow, that was really clear. Those are clear directions, Sam. I do this on a flat surface. I don't like doing it not on a flat surface. That's weird. Once you put this in, there's not enough in this bottle. I'm gonna have to grab a, a new one. But basically you just pull back. So I'm probably gonna have to skip a lot of this because it takes like 10 years. A few moments later. Three weeks later. Uh. Once you have your amount, what I do is I switch the tip. I don't use the same one that I just used. I have the new tip right here, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna switch it. Ready? New one, old one. You're gonna put this in the sharps container. From this point on, all you have to do now is inject it. Before I stick myself with this shit, I just wanna give you guys a couple of tips and things that you should do. But something you do have to do all the time is aspirate. If you don't aspirate, you can inject it into a vein, I'm pretty sure. What aspirating is, is as soon as you get your, as soon as you poke yourself, don't inject anything, pull back on the syringe. You wanna pull back on the syringe and make sure there's no blood because if there's blood, you don't wanna inject it in there because that's a vein, a blood vessel, whatever. If your tea is in oil, you don't wanna mix the two things together. You don't wanna mix blood and oil. That is not good for you. Make sure you always aspirate. And one more tip. I know there's a lot. You probably just wanna see me do my shot. But once you take the cap off of your needle, I don't suggest keeping it off for long because there's all these particles in the air. You guys can't see them, but I have big lights on so I can see them. And you don't want to leave it out for too long because I feel like it won't be sterile. And if you have it out for five minutes without a cap, and it's just like laying there. So as soon as you get that cap off, you want to make sure that you're ready. Don't keep it off for too long. And again, always wash your hands. Now I'm going to change the angle so you guys can see me do this. For those that are curious, um, does it hurt? I would say 20% of the time. So you Usually 80% of the time, you can't really feel anything. I do it in my upper thigh. I've been doing it for three and a half years, so I find this the most comfortable. I've done it in other places too, uh, but I, I like the leg. So you're gonna take your alcohol pad, find the spot that you want and clean that shit. Now I always make sure I have all the air out of the thing. And I also grab the skin like this. Again, just another preference. Wow, I do a lot of things. I didn't realize how many things I do. Uh, oh, and I'm bleeding. Isn't that special? So I just hold, you hold pressure on it with an alcohol pad. Then you take a Band-Aid, and I know you guys couldn't really see what I did because my hands were all awkward. I mean, yeah, that's pretty much... Did it hurt? Yes. Um, that one hurt a little bit. But, but yeah, if you guys did like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below if you have any questions regarding testosterone or anything like that. I will definitely answer them for you guys. So I love you, and I will see you guys next video. Peace.